Morning, I'm getting ready to put up a dipole and I need a 4 to 1 baling. And I found this diagram on the internet and I plan to build it right now. Give some toroids, turns, power. Um, I want to mount this at the antenna end so that I can run all the way to the antenna with unbalanced cable, which would be RG8. So, of all the toroids it has here, I have this one, uh, 1062, says 18 turns, 100 watts. So I found this 26 gauge cable. This is CAT6 horizontal cable. I took turns out for a ways. So we'll just start winding. What I'll do is I'll wind as many turns as I can with this. And then if I need more, I can cut off this end and wind from this end. So I'm going to put this on. I want to keep these parallel the whole way. So the orange comes first and the white orange comes next. So nothing to do but start winding. Okay, so I want to be sure and keep it parallel. Then I want to pull that as tight as I can get it. Okay, so that's as tight as I can get it. So I want to keep going. I'm going to have to pull these tight. I don't know if I can get 18 wraps through this. It's going to be tough getting all these wraps around this, I think. Magnet wire would be better. I don't have any good magnet wire right now. I want to be sure as I go that this stays the same. I can wind these tight and close together and if I get around and there's a big open gap then I can spread them evenly. But getting them tight the first time around is going to be important. Every time the wire goes through the center, that is a turn. If it doesn't go through the center, not a turn. This isn't perfect. There could be a little bit more tightness in these, but I think this is going to be fine. And I can look on the outside and check that I'm staying in the right sequence. Not as easy as it looks. Okay, count rings through the core. I'm only going to count the white ones. I don't need to count pairs. I just need to count the white ones. One, two, three, eighteen. So I've got 18 through the core. I'll leave a long tail on this until I get it completed. So there is winding the core. That's pretty consistent spacing. I'm, I'm not going to try to adjust that until I actually get it mounted because I could mess it up before that. So the key thing I printed this out for was the wiring. So this is the unbalanced. In this case, we'll translate red to orange, blue to orange white. I've got to find something to put it in. Good evening. Back with the 4 to 1 baling. So I found this plastic container. This is an old wall wart that bit the dust. So it's just a plastic case at this point. It doesn't have to be fancy. This should work fine. I need to mount this in here. I need to mount this in it. Then I'm going to use these screws to put in the side and that's how I get the ladder wire to it. So on the inside I'll have two washers and this will come into the, between them. I'll put a nut on the outside to permanently mount the screw in the case. So then I'll do two more washers and another nut to tighten it down. So this will be sealed and I'd have to take this nut off to get to these on the inside. And then this will be how I attach the wire from the antenna. Okay, so I've got this plastic box. I'm gonna do two bolts here and that'll bring in the ladder line. I'm gonna put this on the bottom and that will bring in the PL259 and that'll work out perfect. If I put it like this, I'm afraid the strain on the coax would be too much. Let's get started. Okay, so Let's take a look at this. It's really a crappy box, but by the time I get it done, it'll accomplish the purpose. 
and that one is big enough, so that worked out well. So what I want to do, I want to be sure that these wrap around that a lot. So I can take this, doesn't matter which of these it is. And I want to pull the plastic coat outside the length of the washer. If I put the plastic coating in between the washers, it'll artificially space the two apart. And I need to be sure that that continues after I put it on this. So I'll pull that to the top. Verify that the plastic isn't under the washer. And I can take the nut and put on. Should be a very good mechanical and electrical connection. And so now, these being exposed, if you touch these while you're transmitting, you'll get an RF burn. Now I can take a cutoff tool and cut those off if I wanted to. And I probably will once I know this is working okay. Okay, there's the wiring diagram. For our purposes, the red will be orange and the blue will be the white orange. Bring this in. And I left these long for a reason. So let's put this in. I'm concerned about this because that uses a lot of the plastic, so I don't have a lot of strength left, but it's very important I get this pretty much centered. A rough marking. Do not want to go too far on this one. So I actually take the nut off so I can keep testing. So I've got this. It doesn't quite fit, so I'll go one more step. There's that one. Perfect. So I did these two, brought them over. I need to cut one of them because that will bridge onto what we call the blue. So this one goes together. So we've got the red wire coming out and branching over to the other side. So now I have two connections. This would be the center wire and this would be the ground. So let's go ahead and put it on this. I'll heat that. I'll heat both of them until the center solder melts and then I'll just leave that a second. That works good. And this is where it gets a little tricky. Okay, so let's get this side in here. Okay, so I've got it all wired except for the ground of the unbalanced. There's two things I can do with that. I can put it in between this and the wall, and I don't like that option since the wall is plastic. I can put a washer in there, but I don't like that idea either. So what I want to do is just solder right to the edge of this. It takes a lot of heat to do that. Once I get this all arranged, I'll mount this to the box with hot glue. And it doesn't have the best arrangement right now, but I'll have to do that after I solder this. It's a huge piece of metal to be melting solder on. So there we go. So let's take a look at this. Blue comes out and goes around to this. Red comes from this to the center connector from what comes out of here. So then this side goes across. That would be this. Then the red that comes out of here goes into there. And then the red that comes out of this goes to this blue. So it's wired according to the directions. Now, I have hot glue, but I'm not gonna mount that very good yet. I'm just gonna put a dab over here that's not on the wires just to keep it down for right now. Okay, so I don't have any cables crossed that I can find. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the way this is working. I just need to attach this. And I'm just gonna do that with a little bit of hot glue for now. This will come apart very easily. There we go. Pretty solid, pretty happy with it.
All that's left is to give it a shot. So if you like the videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.